about this is what God does he can take a life and transform it and if anybody in here has been transformed by the power of God I want you to shout with everything you have in you that was that was Melinda Watts and, and she has a brand new CD out. Melinda Watts has a brand new CD out. And you all need to really support her because that's ministry and that's anointing. But I'm back here now with my brother Steve Harvey. And man. You know, I, I think we, we, were, we, were, we, we carried on while we were in the back just as much as we were talking up here. And it's amazing how God really just shows himself mighty and strong and how he raises up people from the most unknown, from the most unexpected places. But it's always been the will of God. God has always chosen the foolish things, but people say, oh, God would never do. God usually chooses those things just to confound the people who think that they're wise. Mm. And God, he has no limits. Like Steve said, the, 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 the road has got to be broadened a little larger. God does things that we don't even comprehend. We can't even fathom what God is going to do. And you talk about um, when you get up every morning, you promise that you made a promise to God that you were going to dress like you were successful, that you were going to... Yeah. You do this in the studio. When nobody sees you, all your fellas and all your role in there dressed just like this every day. Every day. Every day. And nobody sees you. So, you know, man, it's, 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 um, before you say that, um, I just happen to have on um, a Steve Harvey suit. I, know, I see. I see. Yeah. I, so, now I got to say, inside of mine, just having like that, I see, just... Yeah, see, but mine's got smaller letters, but it's still... That's all right, that's all right. <laughs> I'll make them make mine bigger. See, yeah, because you can, because you roll like that, you know. <laughs> and and when, I get, when I get that big, I'm going to have my name real big across my chest. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. But, but don't you... do that, don't, <laughs> don't, don't put your name on the outside of you. No, Please don't do that. You know, Jay-Z and them do that. I'm gonna do you ain't Jay-Z. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't put pastor nowhere on your chest. <laughs> it ain't gonna fly. <laughs> You know, but, but you were talking about, you know, how God blessed you. You have a line of clothing. You have the top radio show in the whole entire nation. And, and you wrote a book that became a bestseller. That, that, that really, man, is, you know, to be 52 years old, mm -hmm. man, been doing this 24 years, nothing but this. You know, I've never done anything but this business that I'm in. I never gave up and went and sold shoes for a little while. I, and I've had some tough times, you know. Mm -hmm. I've been homeless. I lived in a car for three years, you know, people. And to get to this age, and then I write a book first book I had no idea this is and I, I'm not saying it because I'm on this show and I'm in front of y'all because it, it don't really make me no difference mm -hmm. I've said this on my radio show yeah. this is nothing but a favor from God mm -hmm. it's, it's the only way to explain yeah. it because who am I really man and I'm gonna sit down and write a book and it's gonna be on the bestseller list but not on the bestseller list, number one, number for 27 one. weeks number in a row. One. That doesn't, that doesn't, you cannot sit down and think of that. Mm -hmm. You can't do that. Nobody can say, I'm finna write a bestseller. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be on the list this long. That's all God's favor. Yeah. And he, he showed me how to do this, man, because, because of this change, you know what I'm saying? He, he bring a lot of stuff to me now because I'm, cause I'm open to him. You know, I just want him to, I want him to just take me where he going to take me. Now, I'm going to make some mistakes along the way. Please understand. If you tune in on my radio station, like yesterday, uh, I was, um, you know, I, this, what I do for a living is, is jokes. So we had a, a sponsor came on and said, I want you to be an organ donor. And my father has said that he wasn't donating his organs because he need all his. Because when he get to heaven, he going to need everything with him. And, 
you know, it was just a little statement. An old black dude said that. Well, on the radio, I just kind of went off on it and took it a little bit far, you know, because I don't, I'm not donating a kidney, because, kidney, you know, I don't want to get to heaven and be on dialysis. Because I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, you know, you done miss choir rehearsal. The heavenly choir singing, you ain't there cause you on dialysis. <laughs> All this, you done gave away your eyes, you can't see the pearly gates. You don't see the streets of gold. Your, your wings is toe off cause you flying, running all up in the stuff. You can't hear the Lord talking, you done gave away a ear. You got a CNI dog. You, you at the last supper table. You done gave your teeth away. Everybody eating meat but you. You sitting up here with a bowl of oatmeal. You try and uh, went up. That had went a little bit too far for some people. <laughs> so a man emailed the show, said that. He thought that was uh, rather rude of me and, and careless and thoughtful because he was on dialysis right now <laughs> and he was waiting on a kidney. And for me to make a joke like that, where he thought that was absurd, well, how I know <laughs> that you waiting on a kidney and you done tuned in this morning. I was doing it for the people that's got their kidney. That's who the joke was for. So, sometimes, the, uh, and a lot of them, see, uh, a lot of them people, see, they cover in their mouth to laugh because they think it's wrong. And um, that's one of the problems I have because <laughs> as I try to walk my walk, I still do what I do, and it's borderline. You know, that's a form of, that's comedy. It's clean, but it's too on the edge for some people. You yeah. know, and that's why I was just really had, was. Yeah. But I didn't see nobody hooked up to the machine, so I figured it was cool. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you, you had, you had one of the most successful comedy sitcoms, the Steve Harvey Show, and you need to come on TBN and do a show, because... Amen. Uh, but <laughs> the book was called Act Like, the book is called Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man. <laughs> Tell me, y'all hush, hush up, let me yeah. do this interview. Yeah. Tell me where the concept came from. Tell me what you were trying to, 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 to achieve by writing that. It was, it was simply, man, after all the life I've had, all the things I've done, all the things I've said to women, all the things I've promised women, all the things I know men say to women, mm -hmm. how I know how women really want to believe in so many things. Every relationship, every woman I've ever been with have all said the same thing, if you would just tell me the truth. Mm -hmm. That's not the truth about y'all. <laughs> women say that, but once you tell them the truth, then here come the venom for the truth. So, I said, if I write a book to empower women, mm -hmm. to tell them the truth, but I'm not connected to them in, in a personal way. Mm -hmm. I'm not their man, I'm not in a relationship with you, I'm not trying to get anything from you, I'm not hunting for you. So I'm gonna give you the truth and you'll be able to accept it a little bit better coming from me, a man who has nothing to gain from you having this knowledge, and there's no emotional tie here, which makes you not accept it or believe it. Mm -hmm. So I told women the truth of how men think, because so many women do not understand our thought process. Mm -hmm. It's no need of me trying to write a book for, for, for men on how women are, because that book would be about 32 volumes <laughs> and, and, and 800 pages. <laughs> Because you all know there are too many variations to you. Mm -hmm. But men are much easier to explain. Yeah. Because we're very simple. Very, very simple. It ain't nothing to us once you understand how we are. But you have to understand how we are. What has made this book so hugely successful is that it, it only talks from the common sense standpoint.